What is up guys, True here from IMA and today's video is going to be a solo video. Now me and Troy haven't made videos over the last couple of weeks due to obviously um, the pandemic that's still going on which kind of sucks and we we're hoping this year we're kind of be starting out fresh um, but hopefully there still is hope for Airsoft and just everything in general and um, with the vaccines starting to be rolled out and stuff so um, we're, we're keeping our hopes up and we're keeping an open mind uh, but for the meantime it's just going to be um, me doing it solo or Troy doing it solo we might try and hop on a call or two and see if we can uh, arrange that and see if we can get some more videos out for you guys um, I know our goals were to kind of post every week um, but there's been other stuff in development at the moment and there is a link to our Instagram if you guys want to go check that out I'll leave it in the first link in the description um, and yeah so today's video um, is about Radio. Now we we purchased um, some radios uh, a couple of months back, and we were we were meant to make a video on them, but we never did because we just said we wait till the right time, and we just feel like now would be a right time because everyone's starting to get back in to kind of the airsoft scene and kind of make more purchases in uh, relation to airsoft. And if you guys haven't seen our beginner bag video, um, like what's in uh, beginners kind of st stuff, um, there is. Um, a video on the channel there I'll leave a link to that as well down below if you guys want to go check that out or just go back a couple of videos we don't have that many videos up at the moment um, but yeah if you guys want to go check that out I'd highly suggest it especially if you're a beginner and you're looking for some sort of equipment to kind of get the ball rolling with airsoft now today we're gonna to be talking about the bio bio thing I, I don't know the correct pronounce it <laughs> I don't know the correct pronunciation of uh, this company, but there it is. I Beofang. believe these are the Beofang BF88AE uh, brand. So let's uh, have a look inside the box. So let's have a look into the box. So here we have obviously the actual radio. So this is the Beofang um, radio. Pretty simple little design. So let's just open the box and show you guys what's in the box. Now, guys, so you can just simply open the box. And in here we already have the user's manual. So right here we have the user's manual, which will give you all the information on uh, the frequencies, software you can download for them, and etc. etc. So we'll have a look at this in a minute. Here we also have a card, which kind of has just QR codes to bring you to their sites and stuff. So it's kind of nice to have that package in there. It's a really nice deal. Now, so onto the radios. So as you can see here, we have two, a two-pack radio, both radio things still packaged up because we want to keep these ones packaged up because these ones are going to be for the rest of the team. Now me and Troy already have ours, that's why mine is over here out of its packaging because it's been in my hands and my use. So this is my radio. Now, so this one is going to be for the rest of the team. So um, the other members of our team will obviously be using these and. Um, yeah, so that's basically it for those. So let's just move on to the other pieces we have. So in here, obviously, we have two dock chargers, which are USB compatible, so you can plug this into a PC. Uh, you can plug it into your PS4, your PS5, you can plug it into anything that has a USB to charge them. Now, I would recommend just powering them off a wall. It might be a bit better, because you can set them up as a station, and that's probably what I'm going to do. But for right now, these are... These are really nice to have with the USB and you know it, it's a bit more convenient I suppose and they're very lightweight and um, so I mean yeah I definitely would recommend these just because you get these dock chargers with them and it's better than replacing the battery which I know some companies do that. Now, so on to the last piece and you guys are wondering what's inside that bag what, what would this be so this is actually this is actually one of the earpieces now I do have a pack still packaged up so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to swap those. Um, but here, this is the earpiece. This basically just clips in to our radio. So as you can see here, there's a little flap here. I'll show you guys a demonstration of that in a second. But this earpiece is pretty handy. It has a microphone on it, so you can attach this microphone anywhere to you, which is handy. Now, we do have a clip mount here, which I, I feel like we can move this around. Oh, yeah, we can. We can move this around, so we don't even need that other one. We can just clip this onto our attack vest you can clip this onto the inside shirt um, there's a lot of places where we can just clip this on and this earpiece is very comfortable 
um, and it's just it's just really nice to have. Um, so we can still call out comms we and not be um, displaying our radios everywhere, so everyone can hear everything in our within our radio conversation. That's the last thing you want when breaching an enemy's room. And yeah, also you get an ear earpiece cover just to let you guys know. So some of the specifications I do have on my phone, guys, because you know. I couldn't put the PC on, I don't want to make no too loud, you know, you know, um, but do forgive me for one moment, guys. Ah, that's nice. Now, so let's just jump into some specifications for this. Now, as you can see, this is size comparison. It is a very small radio. It can just simply just be on a tack vest. It can be on pretty much anything. Now, the good thing about that is it's not going to be in the way as much. Now, personally, I probably have it mounted on the right side of my chest just because this antenna won't be hitting you in the face every every time you go to look at anything. Now, um, it is very precise when it is turned on. So to turn it on, you turn this, this little dial here, this one right here on the left. So you turn that and it makes a very <laughs> a low kind of, a, well, depending on your volume, but. Power on. Power on, eight. let's you know. So that's letting you know it's power on on channel eight. Now, to change the channel, Seven. you just flick this other one. Five, three, four, three. Two, one. No, so that's on channel one now. So this has up to 16 channels, which is very, very handy. Now, um, as you can see, mine's going dead, so we're gonna turn this off for now. But it has multiple buttons to press. Now I know it looks a bit kind of confusing, but as we were saying about the earpiece a while ago, so you just put in this little flap on the left side and then if you could see those right in here we have two little ports right here and here which will um which is where you plug in the other end of the um earpiece now with the charging dock it just literally sits in right here just plop it down into it it charges no need to worry and over here we have other buttons which can be pressed now i know they're a bit it's a bit weird at times getting to know them but let's just turn it on power on one so, you press this black button up here, the very top one. Press this. Chain battery. This red light will come on. That's to let you know that you're able to talk. You can press this. That's just to check if your channels are scanning or if it's picking up any signal. That's what you Chain battery. And then it also has a cool flashlight mode. Now, this can be very... Um, diverse in using this, right? So there's a little button here underneath the Free chain battery. So underneath the talk button, we also have the and then underneath that one we have the flashlight. Now there is separate modes for this, so you can set it to simple. I do advise you guys to watch your eyes with this Free one. Chain battery. Shut up, you. Right. So there's our light, as you guys can see, and this one does have a bit of a flash. So if you guys have any sensitive eyes with flashes. Please just be aware. Battery. Please be aware that this does flash, so just be cautious of that. So this one also has this little flash, which would be kind of good for entering a room. I don't know when you're going to take your radio off and run in like this. Battery. Please stop. And then once you press, then again, wrong button. There you go. It turns off. Simple. So it's nice to have. We're going to turn this off before she starts giving out again that the battery's low. Um. So. What else can we say about this? Now I'm going to pull up a few of the stats on my phone because I don't know all the stats off by heart. Um, it's not something I've tried to learn because I don't think there's much really to learn. So please do forgive um, my um, <laughs> my talking um, and my just looking at these. So we have a 15, 1500 milliamp hour uh, lie on battery and um, so we get up to about eight hours of battery life on a full charge which is very good especially if you're doing milsim and um, i mean it won't last overnight but we can always bring spare battery packs and stuff like that if we ever do a milsim and if we ever get back to normal that, that that'd be handy too um so the upgraded temperature is minus 30 to plus 60 degrees celsius which to be honest i don't know what that means i'm guessing that just means that's the temperature that can last in I'm guessing I'm very bad at this stuff guys okay but we're getting there we're getting there so that's 140 grams that's that's pretty pretty light um and then we have the range so I know a lot of you guys are gonna be interested 
is this a good radio? Does it have good range? Can it, can I go far with it? Like, is there no point in uh, doing an airsoft event and not being able to go a distance away from your teammates without a radio? So yes, you can go up to three kilometers um, before this starts to like really disconnect. Now me and Troy have put this to the test and it does work. It does work. Now, we haven't been able to try it within a, a closer environment, but from the distance from mine to Troy's, it is, um, they seem to work fine. Now there is a bit of muffling every now and again, but then again, we also didn't have the mic setup. We just used the bare bones just to see what it would be like. Um, so we might try it with full equipment. I might try and get Troy to jump on a video and we might be able to just um, shoot it and see. And uh, yeah. So would I recommend these as a radio to use in airsoft? For now, yes. Until I actually get a proper use and try them out in the field, then yes, I highly, highly suggest these um, Baofeng um, radios. And I will leave a link to these ones in the description if you guys wanna go check that out. Um, now, I would highly suggest them. Um, and we'll do a review of them again in a couple, couple of weeks, couple of months time, whenever we get around to actually playing airsoft or at least testing them out within close to fair proximities. And um, that way we can do an actual test and bring you guys out with us. So yeah, honestly, I feel these are very good starter radios to have if you and your team just want to communicate um, and just be able to navigate around a certain map, whether that be CQB or whether it be out in an open field doing milsim or whatever operations you guys do want to do. Now, there probably is a hundred other better radios to use during airsoft, but I feel these ones are very durable. They're strong. They're, you know, they're, 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 they're the basic. That's what you need. Just a bit of basic. And if these do break, um, obviously we'll let you guys know if they break after like one one or two shots that's fair enough but I think they're a very good start now we will be putting these into a pouch so obviously uh, we'll have them on the top of the tack vest put into a pouch on either side don't matter or even into an arm so all we have to do is just press the button on the radio so these don't we don't have to actually touch these throughout the duration they're on um, and what I would suggest is you and your friends you and your team picking uh, these up and selecting a specific channel you guys should always go on to and um, because uh, If you're on different channels, you're not gonna be able to hear each other. So make sure you guys always select the same channel Right, so I'd say that's gonna do it from us here today guys um Great radio um can't wait to actually use them in airsoft um, and I hope all you guys are you know having having a good time browsing and just looking into airsoft and if you guys are new to airsoft if you guys are just getting interested in airsoft or are just looking to get started with airsoft then please do leave a comment below guys let me know um ask us ask us anything ask us any advice hit us up on our instagram messages over there if you guys want to ask us anything we're there um and you guys can you guys can talk to us and uh, we'll help you with whatever you need help with now um we do intend to do a lot more videos and um, it all just depends on what way this dur the duration of this lockdown goes now it is set to release in about april so even another month and a bit to go but after that i'd say we should be fine now in regards to that again airsoft doesn't look very promising for the summer hopefully maybe late august or early august we might have some sort of airsoft event to go to depending on which way this all goes but um, hopefully, hopefully guys. So anyway, I'm going to leave it here. Um, I've been through for my MA. You guys have been amazing. Um, and hopefully you guys keep up the support. And uh, just happy airsofting guys. Make sure you guys stay safe. Make sure to always put your masks on in and out of the arena nowadays. Um, not your airsoft mask now guys. Come on. Put on your actual masks um, outside. And do put on your airsoft masks once you're in an arena. Um, so yeah, that's going to do it for me today, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And uh, we'll catch you in another Airsoft video. And turn on those post notifications, guys, so you're notified every time we upload one of these videos. And with that being said, I've been True. This is IMA. Happy Airsofting, guys.